Hello everybody. If you want to read all the stories in full, please go to www.steveuk.blog. Thank you. Short Story 189, The Vanishing Symphony. The old theatre stood like a forgotten relic, its crimson curtains tattered and its marquee letters missing. Yet it held a secret, a symphony that transcended time. Sophie, a young violinist, received an invitation. No return addressed, just a golden ticket with the theatre's emblem. Curiosity led her there on a moonless night. The theatre was eerily silent. Sophie's footsteps echoed as she entered the grand hall. Rows of velvet seats faced the stage where an ancient piano sat, its keys untouched for decades. A shadowy figure emerged, the theatre's caretaker, Mr Hawthorne. His eyes held stories of lost melodies and forbidden love. Welcome, he whispered. Mr Hawthorne revealed the truth. The Vanishing Symphony. Composed by a tormented genius, it could alter reality. But it came with a price. The composer vanished, leaving only the music behind. Sophie hesitated. Could she play the symphony? She nodded, and Mr Hawthorne handed her the yellowed sheet music. As Sophie played, the theatre transformed. Ghostly dancers twirled, their gowns billowing. The audience, long gone, reappeared, their eyes fixed on her. The air crackled with magic. But Sophie glimpsed the composer, a wraith in the shadows. His eyes pleaded for release. She played louder, desperate to unravel the mystery. The final notes hung in the air. The theatre trembled. The composer stepped into the spotlight. Finish it, he whispered. Release me. Sophie hesitated. What would happen if she played the last chord? Would she vanish too? The audience leaned forward, breathless. Sophie's bow quivered. She played the haunting finale. The composer's form wavered, merging with the music. And then silence. The theatre collapsed, its walls crumbling. Sophie woke outside, the golden ticket disintegrating in her hand. The composer's face lingered in her memory. She returned to her violin, playing the vanishing symphony one last time. The notes soared and she vanished, becoming part of the timeless melody. Sophie's days blurred into nights as she delved deeper into the mystery. She researched the composer, Elias Thorne, a name erased from history. His portrait, hidden in an attic, revealed haunted eyes and a violin cradled like a lover. Sophie discovered Elias's hidden manuscript, a sequel to the Vanishing Symphony. Its note whispered secrets, promising answers, but the pages were incomplete, torn by time or malevolence. Mr. Hawthorne appeared, his cane tapping a rhythm only he understood. The sequel, he murmured, it holds the key. On the next moonless night, Sophie returned to the theatre. The audience awaited her, the same souls who vanished decades ago. Their eyes held longing, as if they remembered her. She played the sequel. Elias materialised, his form more solid. Finish it, he urged. Release us all. Sophie hesitated. Elias's love for a forbidden dancer echoed through the notes. Could she break the curse without losing herself? The audience leaned forward, their spectral breaths mingling with hers. She played the final chord, and the theatre trembled. The walls cracked, revealing a portal, a bridge between worlds. Sophie stepped into it, Elias at her side. The audience followed, their ethereal forms merging with reality. Outside, the theatre vanished, leaving an empty lot. But the music lingered, a symphony of souls set free. Sophie and Elias wandered the streets, hand in hand. 
their love defied time and they became guardians of forgotten melodies. Epilogue, the echoing strings. Generations passed, yet the legend persisted. The old theatre remained, an echo of lost dreams. Those who listened closely heard the faint strains of the vanishing symphony, carried by the wind. And Sophie? She played her violin on moonless nights, her bow dancing across strings that whispered of love, sacrifice and eternity. Vocabulary notes. Relic. Noun. Definition. An object or artifact from the past, often with historical or cultural significance. Example. The old theatre, with its faded posters and worn seats, felt like a relic of a bygone era. Eerily. Adverb. Definition. In a strange, unsettling or mysterious manner. Example. The abandoned house stood eerily silent as if holding secrets within its decaying walls. Caretaker. Noun. Definition. A person responsible for maintaining or looking after a property, building or facility. Example. Mr. Hawthorne, the theatre's caretaker, had weathered years of solitude and whispered legends. Tormented, adjective, definition, suffering from intense emotional or mental distress. Example, Elias Thorne, the tormented composer, poured his anguish into the haunting notes of the symphony. Malevolence, noun, definition, ill will or desire to harm others, malice. Example, the torn pages of the hidden manuscript hinted at a malevolence that transcended time. Spectral. Adjective. Definition. Related to or resembling ghosts or spirits. Example. The audience, their spectral form shimmering, watch Sophie play with longing in their eyes. Portal. Noun. Definition. A doorway, gateway or entrance that connects different places or dimensions. Example. The cracked wall revealed a portal, a shimmering bridge between the earthly realm and the unknown. Guardians. Plural noun. Definition. Protectors or caretakers of something valuable or sacred. Example. Sophie and Elias became guardians of the forgotten melodies, ensuring their legacy endured. Eternity. Noun. Definition. Infinite or unending time, a state of lasting existence. Example. The love between Sophie and Elias defied time, binding them together for eternity. Haunting. Adjective. Definition. Evoking strong emotions or memories, often with a sense of sadness or mystery. Example. The haunting melody of the vanishing symphony lingered in Sophie's mind, even after the theatre vanished. Story written by... Copilot AI. Images created by... Copilot AI. To read all the stories in full, please go to www.steveuk.blog. Thank you. Hello, this is Steve. If you enjoyed the story, please would you take the time to leave a meaningful comment and click on the like icon. If you want to know when the next story has been uploaded, please click on the notify bell icon to be notified. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel tell your English learning friends so they can benefit too. Thank you.